In this video, we present some features of the 5.0 release. As a new feature, the LGATE and LINX devices imply a generic scheduler. If you want to use a data point in a scheduler, use the right mouse button, select Schedule Data Point and now you can choose between the different schedulers. For example, the generic scheduler. Generic schedulers are neither CEA709 nor BACnet objects and can write to any technology. All schedulers are also extended by property relations like time to next or next state. It is also possible to swap directly to the linked data point if needed. To configure the scheduler, you no longer have to go to your scheduler. You can start the configuration directly from the data point used in a scheduler. Favorites have been vastly extended to be compatible with all uses that were previously only possible for regular data points. Favorites can now be trended, can have an alarm condition and be scheduled. Historic filters can be applied and favorites can be used in email templates, math objects and connections like any other data point. The folder tree of the data point manager has been brought to state-of-the-art user concepts such as multi-select, drag and drop of folders, moving folders, deleting multiple folders and their contents. A name filter can be applied to folders to enable a quick search for folders. This also is working for the global objects. The property tab has been extended by a property name filter. This makes it easy to find the desired property by typing a substring of its name in the filter. Data point link navigation has been made easy by using a go to data point context menu. Everywhere data point references are displayed. Firmware versions since 4.9.0 support value data points and not only the old read write data point combination. When using templates in LWAP or Elvis, it is often an all or nothing approach. A mixture is not practical. For making the transition in old projects to value data points, the configurator now offers a conversion tool. Multi-select old read-write data points and choose the item convert to value from the data point context menu. This converts the selected data points to the new value data points, leaving the IDs, default values and data point usage intact. The web interface on the device offers a number of new features. Live update of values in the data point list. This allows monitoring values without repeated pressing of reload. Breadcrumb navigation has been added to the data point list. This gives faster access to subfolders. A new firmware upgrade menu on the web interface allows online checking for firmware updates or upgrading by selecting a local firmware file. 
All this is possible without starting the configurator. The trend overview page displays current trend log state and provides controls for easy trend data upload in CSV and ZIP format. The OPC server on the devices, which supports security, has been extended by an OPC UA server. This supports the OPC UA binary protocol and exposes the same OPC tags as the well-known OPC XML DA server. In addition, OPC UA offers superior security features as well as slimmer data transfers. These were some of the new features supported from our 5.0 release. Detailed information can be found in the chapter What's new of the Lynx LGATE user manual or in the README file of the Lynx configurator and firmware.